Good evening, salam sejahtera, salam lemai. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another yes. episode of the Triple SC Show. All right, I am Kining and I will be your host this evening. Today we will be touching on the more artsy and not so talk about side of Swinburne. Did you know that Swinburne has his own group of female traditional dancers called the Nyalang Warriors? With that, we have two, yes two, not one, but two very special guests with us today. Let us welcome our beautiful representatives from the Nyalang Warriors, Priscilla N and Claudia Mas. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, girls. Please kindly introduce yourselves. Hello, everyone. I'm Priscilla. I'm taking Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering and currently in my second year, second year semester. Hello, hello. My name is Claudia and I am doing Bachelor of Business, Human Resource Management. And I'm now in my final SAM. Yes! Yes. Final Sam, final. Yes. 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 It's nice to have you guys today. Thank you for joining this session this evening. Thank you. Thank you for having us. How are you, Kinning? I am surviving the semester. (laughs) Oh, thank you all. Everyone feels the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you all. Driving as well too. Mm-mm. Yes, I hope everyone's staying positive and staying healthy in this very hard times. It's, very, it's, okay. it's a new experience, yeah. Yes, it yeah. will be ending soon, hopefully. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Just, hallelujah. Yes. Let's just hope for the best. Amen. All right. Anyways, getting to it. So, Nyalang Warriors, how was the group initially formed? How did it first begin? Ah, okay. So Nyala Warriors is actually a merge of Berawan girls and the uh, uh, Sarawak team of the Cultural Night 2018. So I'll be talking about the Berawan girls first, the Brown girls team for the graduation ceremony 2018, whereas uh, Priscilla, she will talk about the Cultural Night team. Yeah, so the Berawan girls, how we started, student history posted a web mail first to dance the, for the October graduation ceremony. That was in 2018. My goodness, it was two years ago. Oh my yes. gosh. Yeah. Oh my I gosh. So. <laughs> uh, and uh, we had our first meeting at the Student HQ. I remember it was at 5 o'clock right after class. Wow. It's somewhere in September, for sure. September 2018. Yeah. And then uh, our original group name was the Berawan Girls. It was named after the Berawan Orang Ulu dance that we performed for the graduation 2018, October. Mm-hmm. October graduation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then came to Cultural Night Part. Eva and I, we were invited by Ashley. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Ashley. Yeah. Oh my God, I miss her. So we were invited by her to join the Sarkin team. For the culture night performance and then that's where i met i met my beautiful kinini and my beautiful press and the other of my girls yo man the whole chemistry began yeah oh man that was that was two years ago yeah i feel old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so press about cultural night well i was once invited by my senior with Ashney to perform for yes. the cultural night which was back in 2018 or so. I feel so old already. <laughs> <laughs> so during our first dance practice, I guess that's the first time I met the girls and then we started to introduce ourselves and then slowly we make friends and I guess that's how the group was formed. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But during that time, we haven't come up with any names for our group. So in the <laughs> Time people just call it Zunpen Sarawak Dance Club, something like that. Sarawak Sarkin Team. Yeah, yeah it was Sarkin Team. So we actually, oh, so- and then for that, we actually come up with the name Nyalang Warrior before mm-hmm. our second performance, which is during the graduation day. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, yeah, that's our history. So, wow. basically, Nyalang Warrior is just our stage name. Yeah. It's just a stage name. It's just a Nyalang stage. Warriors. Would you guys like to explain what Nyalang Warriors actually mean? Because people okay. know what Warriors mean, but some may not know what Nyalang actually means. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nyalang, Nyalang is, is derived from the word uh, Kenyalang, which is the hornbill, hornbill bird. 
Mm. That this our our Sarawakian bird, our national bird in okay. Sarawak. Represent yeah yeah that represents Sarawak lah. So mm. yeah, we wanna have that identity as well. That's how we got it. We took the nyalang in the kenyalang part and mm. add the warrior behind because yeah. why warriors? Because well, we're tough chicks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, but really, yes, <laughs> you do. There's a lot of sissy girls in the in the in the group, so it's yeah, yes, it's dealing with a lot, <laughs> a lot of. Yes, I I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Also, it's not just that we're tough, but the things okay. that we had to go through throughout our two years, like how we began, the time, you know, juggling everything. Oh man, about balance, balance, and balance. Mm. I don't know how how did you manage. I don't know how, but well, I'm I'm glad I I did it with you guys. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad I go through it, guys. Oh, mm. yeah. very much. That was it. Was a roller coaster, right? Oh, it is. Mm. Yeah. Also, traditional dancing. Since we are representing Strawa as like a main agenda in our group for cultural nights and graduation, all of that, it's like a parting way for students that are leaving Swinburne. You know, the last. That last touch of you know Sarawakian uh, fusion. <laughs> <laughs> so before you leave, this is what you get to see. <laughs> yeah, and also despite it being a Sarawakian group, there are a lot of other different races in the group. There's not just Sarawakians. I know that there's. Um, no, which one Brunei girl? Yeah. Yeah, Sinanjong. that one. Then yeah, we got Sinanjong. Sinanjong. We used to have a Sabahan girl as well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we did. That was nice. Knowing yeah. about the history of Lang Warriors and how it started, so I noticed that you guys, like in last year's Cultural Night 2019, there was a lot of jumping, a lot of sliding, a lot of, a lot of movement. A lot, of movement, <laughs> a lot, a lot of, of movements in your dance. What 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 is your take on it? Like, what do you feel about all those jumping? Like, that was it tiring? Was it hard to, you know, sing together with the music? Like to jump in time and all of that. Oh man, the jumping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time after the practice, I feel like I'm losing some weight. Because I keep jumping. And then, yeah, we, we mm. did a lot of aggressive movements. Yes. Um, our, our 2019 performances was more, more movements compared to formation back in, like, just like in 2018. Uh, so, yeah. Well, on the brighter side, at least our body got more toner. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, yeah. Wow. yeah, more toned. Mm. Yeah, muscles are toned. And yeah. then uh, we lost we lost quite a lot of weight. And then plus with the, the stress from studies. Yeah, so yeah. Wow. <laughs> the jeans are loose. <laughs> the jeans are loose. Isn't that a good sign? Just, you know, you, yeah, you, it gotta is. Look, you gotta look good in time for Christmas. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> to 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 look for Christmas dress after that, yeah. <laughs> but yes, oh man, last since one, woo woo. <laughs> a workout, a workout. Yeah, that's right. There's one part of our, our dance, uh, in the in the performance part, the Milano, the Milano part to be exact, because it's mm-hmm. it's fast movements. So it's like equivalent to cardio. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, seriously, and then okay, and it's a compilation of uh, all the uh, all the races that uh, cultural dances. So the Iban moves, it involves things and hip exercises, and then there's the Bidal the Milano moves, which is mostly hand hands exercises. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we come to the Milano part. Oh my gosh! And then the bamboo. Yeah, so that one is like jumps, even more jumpings, especially to press. Isla and Eva doing the the jumping part, uh, on the bamboo. Oh man, the bamboo. Dance <laughs> <laughs> is traditional dance is considered as like an activity that involves movement coordinations with music and it's a challenge because we're exercising in disguise and at the same time we have to look so elegant and so sophisticated and we yeah. have to control our instead of gasping for air on stage 
Yeah. And you have to smile too, right? You have always yeah. put a really bright smile when you dance. Otherwise, it will look so too serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, like, I don't know, once, I don't know, I think after a while, you get used to it. You get used to that form of exercise, that physical part. And somehow, yeah, you manage to, to throw off a good show. Yeah. Yep. Mm. <laughs> You're like gasping for air, even explaining the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's true. You know, that, that's, that's what happened you know, during, <laughs> during practice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember the first time we, we learned the Milano, the Milano part, especially. Oh, it was, was so tiring. Most of us, after the yeah. practice, the moment Eva said, okay, take five, and all of us just lay down on the floor. <laughs> Just, we, we just we did nothing. <laughs> just KO on the floor. Yeah. It, was, it was so exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. last year's dance especially was like a full body workout for all of you. Because all of you were just moving. Like it's either you were controlling the bamboo or you were jumping above the bamboo. And then not every single one of you have like the exact same steps like in different sections of the dance from yeah. what I realized. It's like some of yes. you, you have like a role in front and then some of you are at the back doing a different movement, a different flower pattern and then you change and then the other person is doing a different one again and you're doing a different one again. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> also, like... how do you guys memorize everything? Like that dance routine was mm. a lot. With very little formation, you guys have a lot of movement. How do you guys memorize every single movement? <laughs> yeah, oh, only mm. it like time though like for the bamboo dance it took around three to four days for us to completely memorize the movements the steps and all mm-hmm. yeah and it, for the bamboo like, part there's uh the ones who are dancing on the bamboo like press yeah. press and eva and then there's the one who's playing the bamboo which is me potato page and Kesney. Yeah. yeah the four of us yeah and it's like two two things we have to collab together to do that bamboo dance press and eva they had to memorize the dance we we call ourselves the musicians uh, the the bamboo <laughs> the bamboo jungle <drama> star <laughs> so we we had to memorize the beat oh my goodness the beat was quite a challenge because in the mph the the hall was echoing so we were afraid that we are like one or two steps slower than the the normal beat itself ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so it was quite yeah press very challenging our press yeah we <laughs> managed somehow thank god for that but you guys did very well i don't know how does it look like from like your point of view on the stage itself but from the filmer's point of view it looked really nice <laughs> <laughs> I mean, behind the scenes, we don't need to talk about it, okay? It's, it's on the stage, what's on the stage stays on the stage, yeah. no one has to know. Maybe yeah. there's a slight misstep. Oh, by the way, Press, how did you feel? Because you were the one that was jumping together mm-hmm. with Eva on the, on the bamboo stick. So how did you feel coordinating with the whole thing? Like, were you scared that your feet would get snapped between the two bamboo sticks or anything like that? That's <laughs> me and Eva afraid the most. <laughs> so we have to, you know, jump like really quick to make yeah. sure that the bamboo doesn't hit our leg. So mm. it was quite confusing also at the same time because we have to accordingly. Yeah, yeah. you know. First time, yeah. the first time, I remember the first few practices we were when we we learned that bamboo dance part. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> I have to admit, I have to admit. Uh, it, it was very challenging, okay, very, very challenging. So yeah. I have to admit, um, we, we snapped the, the foot oh. like almost all the time. So oh. I'm so sorry, my dear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know it hurts. I'm so sorry. Yes, it's very painful, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we, 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 we start practicing mm. as slow as possible. And we, we gradually speed up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Speed up the tempo. So you guys really coordinated la, with each other. Yeah, I have yeah. to. to. And, and the most important one is trusting. Mm-hmm. I have to trust my teachers. I have to lead them. And at the same time also, so, so trust us to not snap your feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so a lot, a lot of teamwork going on there. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot. 
in just that few minutes of bamboo-stick yeah. performance. Yeah, yes. Mm. Yep. It took it's us not only three bamboo. days. It only took us three days to memorize all the steps. The only? Oh, yeah. Only took you three days? Three days. Because we have no time to practice at all. Like some people, wow. are, you know, are not available at time. <laughs> so it's hard for us to find time to practice. Wow. And all. Yeah. Wow. Major respect for you guys. Especially, you know, how in like the second half of the year and the fact that Cultural Night is always a bit more nearer to the end of the semester. You know how things are a bit more hectic. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so um, how do you guys manage your time in that very hectic situation? Like, you know how I think most of the times you guys tend to meet more at night because I think that's when most of yeah. you are more free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the only time that I'm available, which is during mm-hmm. nighttime. Since there are most no of us are available. Yeah. available at night. But still, we have a lot of assignments, exams, and all mm-hmm. that need to be done as well. Yeah, so that the duration of practice we try to make it we try to learn as much as we can yeah mm-hmm. yeah and if we're really exhausted you know sometimes we we go and sometimes the day can be very very tiring we try not to push each other also mm-hmm. if one person can't really cannot continue so okay we just stop at the part then we just practice 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 that part mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah i guess it's a lot to do with commitment also right like helping each other yeah. making sure that you know the steps and making sure that you learn the steps by yourself so that the next time when you come for practice you're at least yes. mentally prepared for the steps. And I think our choreographer, Eva, does give up a heads up on what mm. to expect in the next training session. Like, oh, there'll be a lot of jumpings. It's going to be a lot of this. Yep. Music's going to change. Also, during um, every practice, by the end of practice, she would record us um, on, a, on her phone. Mm. And then after that, we will end the session. Then she will send us the video. And that's how we see um, our mistakes or which part we, we have mm. to improve. And then which part we have to practice. And most of the time, I'll be looking at press because press is always <laughs> press movements are always accurate so i'm like okay let's go let's go watch her, watch her practice <laughs> yeah benchmark. okay yeah. yes yes it's either her or, or eva yeah the both of them <laughs> Talking yeah so about, talking about dancing that is one of our challenges like because we don't have any mirror to you know to see ourselves yeah. dancing yeah, yeah and then we actually do have a room for us to practice but Usually, it, it was used by the, what do you call that? Sunburn dance club? Yeah, yeah. and usually yeah. it was fully booked, so... It's yeah. always fully booked, so... It's not, it's not that we're complaining, it's just... We have lack of places to practice, yes. yeah. so... So, I guess that's the only way for us to see ourselves, lah. Yeah. <laughs> by recording, yeah, recording the video, and then, yeah. Revising and then we practice. mistakes and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go home and we practice by ourselves, in front of our mirrors. Mm, yeah, that's how that's have to that's that's how we have to have to laugh. You know, we we have to in 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 dancing in a team, we have to sync together. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> all right. So with you guys super tight schedule and juggling all your practice times and your studies, how do you guys find time to slot in practice times for the other events other than cultural night like graduation, Swinburne staff appreciation dinner? What events have you, you know, been a part of done in so far? Uh the latest one will be graduation 2019. Yeah. 2019. I think the first uh, performance was Cultural Night 2018, then followed by Graduation 2018. After the Graduation 2018, we had three more um, performance outside. Outside, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it's still a Swinburne event, la, like the Swinburne Staff Appreciation Dinner. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that was like a few days after Cultural Night. Yeah. Yep. And then we had one at the teachers teachers uh, event, ka? Yep. The principals yeah. event. Yeah. yeah. Teachers yeah, principals yeah. event. Yep. Where all the principals mm-hmm. from? Yeah. yeah. I remember teaching to the secondary secondary principal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's my that's my principal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're performing again, but this time in uni. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also, you know, we had three 
three performances in one week. Oh, that was crazy. Wow. That was insane. That was insane. And how how yeah. did you guys manage to keep up with the three performances happening all in one week? I think mm, basically, we... Because we used the the cultural night performance, right? Yeah, right press. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. So basically, we we already memorized the the steps, the yeah. movements, the performance, the entire thing. So we knew what to. Do. So yeah. we don't. We didn't really this. We don't really need practice for that. We did the same mm. routine uh, for the for the last part of the mm. dance. So it was yeah. it was mm. easy to remember. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically, so, you guys reuse your mm. dance steps, but you guys adapted to the the different stage sizes. Yeah. And all oh that. yeah. <laughs> yes, because so, uh, yes, a, a show club. Bit, what they call that challenge? Show up. Yeah, because was this show club or the Hilton Hilton one that is smaller? Uh? I don't remember, but I remember us squeezing, <laughs> squeezing. Yeah. The <laughs> uh, six like, people like us, and then we need to fit everyone on the stage. So it's quite mm. yeah. You know, the stage itself is quite spacey. So mm. Mm. it's hard. That one time we were doing the we were doing the 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 going around circling, and then it was too too small. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so, so we had to take small steps at the same time like okay give eye contact to each other okay okay not too close not too close <laughs> <laughs> that I remember <laughs> oh man wow that's oh, the part man. where we I... actually make a slant but in the oh, end it's up yeah. like making a straight line because yes. there's more space <laughs> so yeah oh, oh man oh my god yeah that part where we divide um our this one part we divide it divided into two and I remember <laughs> the person in front of me was literally like like yeah. sardine a can of sardine <laughs> so close it's, it's, it's so hard for us to move like <laughs> oh all God. of us were afraid yeah. to fall <laughs> yeah to fall we were actually um, oh, it's so we're screw, uh, screwing yeah. the, uh, each other's hair yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, especially those with the the yeah. Ivan Sugutigi, right? Yeah. I remember there was one time I, so I was performing with you guys and I think it was Sophia's Sugu. I was standing next to her and then she was <laughs> she was turning her head, following her hand that was making some pattern. And I think it latched onto like my it's like oh. some part of my costume and then and then we made like a really panicky oh. face but then luckily it, it <laughs> <laughs> luckily it, it unattached okay. itself so it was uh, okay luckily it's not uh your your costume your costume is not really that sequin type right yeah unlike the orang ulus goodness yeah. luckily otherwise you get stuck oh man <laughs> Yeah, the challenges of being a dancer, a performer, mm, yeah. especially when the space is so small. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And our movements are not like small. small. Yep, you need to act professional. Over curve. Yeah. It's really hard. <laughs> mm-hmm. So then after the after that three, the three crazy crazy week, that one week of craziness, um that the, there's exam. Oh, yeah, wow. final. Exam, final. Finals. Yeah. Final. After finals, after finals, then hello 2019, and then 2019 there was the Gawai Raya. Mm-hmm. Gawai Raya. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Gawai Raya was also very, <laughs> very last minute. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys I remember think that one <laughs> time where they put the banana tree in the middle of the stage, and it's and really helpful. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> And they almost couldn't shift it away because they said that, oh, there's, you know, if you shift mm. this away, there's going to be a lot of process and whatever. And then we, I think at the moment, we were thinking of a way to devise a plan of how to Avoid navigate that. around the banana tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we, we did. We managed. We managed. Yeah, we managed. Somehow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then what? So, oh, but basically that... that you realize you not know, all of our performances, right? They're also last minute. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So unorganized. Uh, oh, no, la, not unorganized. Uh-huh. It's just very last minute. It, it, uh, it happened very last minute, but again, miracles happen somehow. 
we managed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Luckily, luck was on us. Thank yeah. God. Yeah, amen. Mm. Gawai Raya. After Gawai Raya was the cultural night performance oh, and the graduation. Yeah. I think before that, we there's a what they call <laughs> festival yeah, spring. The rainforest. Yeah, yeah the rainforest festival. But sadly, it's been kidding. Only the three of us. Kinning uh, yeah. and potato. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, mm. we, the so this, uh, because. <laughs> The bamboo dance. The bamboo dance. Oh, the bamboo dance. What an dance. experience. What an experience. Such a unique dance. Very unique, yeah? Mm, yeah. Very yes. unique dance. Yeah. Never done before. Never. Wow. I never seen so uh, exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And so you know, proud. the thrill of it is just really. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel so bad for Potato because yeah, she didn't yeah. get to join us on the stage. Why? Because but she was that down time, there cheering, cheering yeah. for us. Aww. She's supposed to have a partner, but on the day itself, on the day, yeah, on the day itself, the partner went, I don't know, missing. Then she cannot yeah. join. She cannot perform. Aww. Yes, then. Because yeah. the way this bamboo dance work is that you have to. There's there's a there's a few parts in the dance where you have to turn and yes. face your partner and do some sort of yes. pattern and hitting your bamboo sticks together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That you need a partner. Mm. Yeah, you need a partner. Because it would look so weird if we would do that alone. <laughs> <laughs> hitting the air. You know, if like a happy yeah. face in the air while everyone else is hitting other people's bamboo sticks. <laughs> I think it's really similar with Pocho Pocho. Yeah, yeah. Bamboo uh, yeah. So it's it's a bit more like that. Yeah. yeah. It's mm, more see. interesting, la, I would say, compared to Pocho Pocho. Because Pocho Pocho, you just move like your body, right? Uh, like yeah. in all different directions. <laughs> but this one is you move and you have like sticks. Mm-hmm. And you have different okay. patterns. So, yeah. And you work with pairs also. So, it's yeah, it's more interesting in that in that part. Yeah. Maybe maybe for, for the audience, it looks a little bit... It's kind of easy, but actually it's not. Because you need to synchronize with your partner at the same time. Yeah. So it's really... Yeah. Yeah. It takes time though <laughs> to make mm. it work. Also, I remember we didn't have like an actual counting. Like we, it was more to following the music. Following oh, music? So it's like sort of freestyle lah. Like, like, no, it's, it's not freestyle. freestyle. It's based on the music. Like yeah. how the music sounds, that's where you do this. Uh, this move. Ah, and when it okay. changes, you... Yeah, like you know, normally it's like one, two, three, four, but this one is you follow the beat of the music to. Oh, okay, just just like Barawan, just like the yeah. Barawan dancer. Yeah, mm-hmm. got it. Okay. Yeah. The you follow the the sapit one ka or the you you follow the sapit sound or the the that one beat that one beat in the song. The beat because it's it's not ah, sapit music. Not it's a it's a jogget kind yeah, of music, like a... right, press? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Almost similar like Just, Pocho Pocho, like I said. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's what you meant. Unique. The unique uh, yes. part of the Bamboo dance. Yes. Uh, very unique and very okay. chilling in the sense where you have to pay attention to the music. Otherwise, <laughs> whole thing will be lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You screw the dance and you're going to embarrass yourself. Especially, oh my goodness, it's a rain. Yes. Event. Yeah. Fringe. Yes, it's a great for us Fringe Festival. Yeah. And everyone's watching. Oh, man. Everyone. All yeah. eyes on you. The public's eyes on you. Mm-mm. Yes. And it's not just oh, but, the public. But, you but, know, the cars but, passing by also. The tourists. <laughs> <laughs> the tourists, yeah. Yeah, because the stage is... Oh, but you, you, guys, you guys managed to pull yeah. it off, right? You guys managed to pull it off. It's okay. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not that bad, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, was that so was... Nice. Uh, in July, right? July, August. July. Yeah, July. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, July, August. Prior to the Rainforest Festival itself. Yep. And then we started we started our our SAM again in August. Uh, September, right? September. Uh, beginning of September. First week of September. And then I remember we, we started dancing, practicing for Cultural Night again. Cultural Night 2019. Yeah, on the wow, first yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was fast. That was very fast. <laughs> it was really, yeah. And then, wow. oh, luckily we used 
same the same routine also for graduation mm-hmm. because I think last year we had more more activities going on so we didn't have much time to practice mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. hectic hectic very mm-hmm. hectic mm-hmm. but yeah wow. other than that what other plans do you guys have for the team like in the future well, like yeah. events you want to organize things that you I don't know new but things now, new year mm-hmm. new things the first, the first one would be the, the main the main one would definitely be recruiting new members. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Chris Press was, men- was mentioning about um, after most of the seniors leave and then we have less members. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's a concern for now for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because one of the requirements mm-hmm. make, uh, to create an official club, the, is, yeah, official club. Is, is to have more than 10 members or maybe 10 members at least. I think for now yeah, we all have around seven to six, eight seven, members. Yeah. So, mm, yeah, and and this time, this time I I won't be I won't be in. I, I'm not mm. not to say that I'm not in now, but I'll be leaving. I'll be leaving soon, ba. So yeah, I think it's time you guys you guys yeah recruit some more. <laughs> Yeah. and to all to all <clears throat> to all those new ones out there, yo, if you're interested, come and join. Please do not hesitate. <laughs> yes. Please don't be shy. Don't be shy. Everyone's saying. Everybody's saying. Hmm. This not this, really is to be shy. this is one way. This is one way to distress. Yes. Hmm. Yes. One way to distress. One way to exercise instead of going to the gym. <clears throat> because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the Melana one is more than enough. <laughs> yeah. There's that one routine will get you sweating. And I mean sweating, sweating. Yes, we mop the floor every yes, night. We mop the floor, <laughs> we mop the floor yeah. until the floor becomes our mirror for us to dance. <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So recruiting the new members after this MC CMCO yes. phase, maybe next year, starting from next year. Mm. Next year. Good job, yeah. guys. It's really fun, and yeah. uh, <laughs> the experience that you get together with it also. It's we promise that you won't forget anything. This is actually one of my best. Uh, one of my, one of the best memories that I'm gonna remember. Oh. Definitely one of the. <laughs> So I'm sure it'll be yours. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Take her word. Mm. This podcast is powered by the Triple SC Show, which is delivered exclusively to you by the Swinburne Strawa Student Council. Do you have any last words? <laughs> any last words? <laughs> any last words? <laughs> back. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this week's podcast. This is just part one. So to know more about the Nyalang Warriors, stay tuned in our next podcast session on part two in the next two weeks. And we'll see you guys again at the same time, the same night, next two weeks for the next part of the podcast session. Yeah! Make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and smack that notification bell to get notifications on our next podcast sessions thank you good night and we'll see you again ciao